this is Peachy for My Sherry Crafts and I would like to share with you my Halloween project. I altered a chipboard book from Basic Cray and on the cover of my mini is a paper from Tim Holtz that I had embossed using the Clockworks embossing folder from Cuddlebug and I had also cut several images from Graphic 45's Halloween in Wonderland paper pack. This skull is from Recollections. It's a transparency and I wanted all the gears to show through in the design. And the papers, I just misted them so they would be sparkly. And I put a feather there to substitute for a leaf. And I have gears and spinners from Tim Holtz to add a touch of steampunk. Some trim that I had gotten from the fabric section at Michael's. And on the binding of my mini album, you can see that I had put some black tool. I wanted to have a look of Alfred Hitchcock's film noir. I was thinking of the Black Widow when I was trying to tie this tool on the book rings. And I also have here some charms. I have a teapot, a couple of tea bags, a teacup and a couple of philosophy tags from Tim Holtz. And I have some black sequins here just to add a touch of drama. And uh, the phrase curiouser and curiouser. And my first page here, I have a flap to hold pictures and I have a transparency of a spider and this was cut from my one of my carts from Cricut. I think it's October 31st and I cut it to two inches. This paper is from Graphic 45. And I put the other half of this skull transparency so that he would be facing the caterpillar. He's supposed to smoke a hookah but I cut off the tendrils. And I put a photo mat here at the back of this designer paper because I didn't want to cover it. I thought it looked too pretty for me to cover it. This was cut 5 inches and I used my Happy Hunting's cartridge from Cricut. And I made a pocket here on the second page to hold three tags. And here's the third one. This is misted using one of my glitter sprays. I love the ones from Lindy's Stamp Gang and this is what I used a lot. These are frames from Spellbinders and I love the pumpkin theme in this whole page and so that I would have continuity in the design I just use the same papers. And the background paper here is from the offbeat paper pad from Basic Gray. I made a gatefold page for this particular page and when you open it, you will see an embossed image of a haunted house and this will serve as a photo mat. And I could also add small pictures on the sides here. I also made a frame. This is from Happy Hauntings again, and this measures four and a half inches. And the background paper is from Die Cuts with the Views. Let's see. It's from the La Creme Stack. It's one of my favorite paper pads, and I just call it the black and white paper pad. I have a pocket here of the Red Queen together with Alice. And this is one of my favorite pages because it's in sepia. And the background paper is, again, from Die Cuts with a View, La Creme Stack. And I have one of the lines here from the movie, off with her head. But when you pull up one of the tags, which says off, I use some Scrabble tiles and I just ink the edges to make it look more vintage. It says here, perhaps it was the queen. And this label is from Spellbinders. I embossed it with skeleton scroll from Cuddlebug. And this was cut at two and a half inches. I used my Cricut for this. And these bats are from Recollections from Michaels. And on the reverse, I would use it as a photo mat. I like making little collages for my tags and for my 
mini albums. I also do the same thing for my cards and my ATCs. And here, another line, curiouser and curiouser. This is Alice with a keyhole. And the queen, I added some scrolls here. And this is faux stitching using some rub-ons. This fiber is from Recollections. And I put some tulle. And these frames were cut at four and a half inches and I used my Happy Hauntings cartridge. This paper is from Die Cuts with a View. And on my next page I have Tweedle D and Tweedle Dumb. And they have pumpkin masks. I think they're one of my favorite characters in that particular book. Through the Looking Glass and Return to Wonderland. Here they are again. And I put pom-poms at the end of my tag just to reflect the orange pants that they're wearing. I think they look adorable. And I also have, let's say, I call this a mini folder. I have this tendency to hoard my paper and I feel kind of sorry when I use them and when I finally use them I try not to cover up the design hence you could see me using the reverse instead for my photo frames it's the red queen again with Alice and here are a couple of flowers that I layered and misted and I have a brand here of a moon with three stars And on this page, well, the design for this is actually horizontal, but I cut it in half and I layered it and I placed a window on top of it to frame the whole design. So it looks as if Alice is surrounded by these tiny goblins and the rabbit there has this concerned look in his face. And when you open it up, you can see more photo mats. So my mini album actually has a lot of spaces for pictures and I also wanted to echo the same shade of purple so I use this paper from basic gray it's from the Erie paper stack and I cut out the keyhole and surrounded it with stickles and I also scored the sides here so that I would have the shape of a door and I have a keyhole here when you open this this trifold page. I just have just the main design for the page, nothing on there because I also like this particular piece of paper. This is a transparency from Recollections from Michaels. And the pocket for this page, I have the rabbit here. And you might be wondering why I have these photo frames loose instead of adhering them to some pages. It's because I might want to write some journaling at the back and if I would adhere them to the pages then it would lose its versatility. I have a tag here with a Jabberwocky and I had cut a piece of gate from the October 31st cart and I wanted it to seem as if the Jabberwocky was caged and he's about to escape. And to add a touch of whimsy I had a flight pattern here at the bottom. Here's another frame cut at four and a half inches and I have a tag here with sequins and I have an inchy of, a, of the Red Queen pointing at this spider. I think she's about to tell him that she would also be beheading him but I love her guts. For the pocket tag here what I did was I folded a piece of triangle then folded it again and then I trimmed one of the sides so you can see here that there are actually two pockets and I paper pieced the design and I just embellished it with liquid pearls and this brown pearls here are from Viva Decor Pearl Pens and these flowers were also misted and I added some feathers to make it look like they are leaves and I have another pocket here of the Cheshire Cat. 
and this is actually one of the border die cuts from the Graphic 45's Halloween in Wonderland paper pack and I wanted to have a mirror image and of course another inchy of the queen to embellish the page otherwise it kind of looked plain to me and more photo frames cut at four and a half inches and I have another tag and I just put enamel accents there I just drew some scrolls freehand okay and for the second to the last page I have Alice and the Mad Hatter and the rabbit and the dormouse and they were all having an unbirthday party and the border punch here that I use is from Martha Stewart just added some pearls they are actually liquid pearls so I could vary the size and I have a pull up here of another mini folder and what I did was I cut an 8x8 piece of paper in half cut it in half and then I folded it again so that I would have two sides of 4x4 four four inches and then I punched holes here on the 1 inch mark and again on the 3 inch mark and I just threaded a piece of fiber there tied it at the back and then I glued down a piece of Prima flower that uh, somehow coordinates with the color of the rabbit's outfit for my last page this is another favorite page of mine and I did not want to cover the teapot as well as all the fixings for making a nice tea so I just put a transparency there so that I could have a pocket for tags and for photo mats and I have another trifold here so I could have more pictures and I have the phrase at last we thought you'd never arrive and this paper is from Tim Holtz lost and found paper pack I added a transparency there from Michaels for pictures and I have the die cut of Alice there trying to point at whoever will be on that picture and I have this frame that I cut at three inches this is from Happy Hauntings and on the other side here with the teapot and all the cups is another photo mat I just left it blank there and this was cut at four and a half inches and at the back of my mini is a cream piece of paper from the die cuts with a view paper pack that I embossed with skeleton scrawl then I inked the edges and I printed on the same piece of paper the words that uh, the Mad Hatter had spoken in parody of the song Twinkle Twinkle Little Star his version was Twinkle Twinkle Little Bat how I wonder where you're at up above the world you fly like a tea tray in the sky and I have a brad of a little bat there trying to hover over the whole frame so there you have it you've seen another mini and thank you so much for watching and I hope that you'd be joining us for our challenges at my sherry crafts have a great day crafting